Hello my queens, welcome back to the channel. So today we will be discussing, if you don't believe in yourself, I want you to hear these stories, okay? Because I've been feeling so anxious about my future recently, but naturally I'm just kind of an anxious girly. So this is just what I deal with constantly. I was you know, asleep last night and I went to bed thinking about my manifestations and really trying to be in the energy of where I want to go. Because right now we're in the Lionsgate portal and the energy and all of that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it doesn't really matter. Because the point here is that in order for you to achieve your dreams, you have to really believe that it's going to happen because if you don't believe that it's going to happen. What your subconscious mind is going to do is your subconscious mind is going to self-sabotage. Think about when you're in a relationship and you're scared of the relationship and so you push the person away or you want to apply for a job but you really don't think you're qualified so you either don't apply or you don't really put work into your resume. This is what I do so this is my examples but you don't put work into your resume and so you apply knowing that you're not going to get the job. This is how our dreams work. And so when I was experiencing this anxiety, when I woke up in the morning, you know, I kept finding myself waking up and being like, <sighs> thinking about my dreams and oh my God, it's not gonna happen. What if I fail? What if I just can't stick to it? What if I'm not good enough to do it? But along with this anxiety, I also had the thought of all of the women that I have heard stories of that delusionally had so much faith in themselves that they ended up achieving it even when other people didn't believe in them even when their current circumstance at the moment did not necessarily provide them the path of where they were dreaming to go so i want to tell you about some women that i was thinking about because i honestly feel like this might inspire you because when i was feeling this anxiety and i was thinking about these women i was like you know what that's the energy i need to be in so let's talk about these women i have my caffeine today and look it's so cute it's green and i got my matching green straw guys i love straws they're so fun so the first person that i want to touch on today is lady gaga okay i burned into my memory is the story of her when she was dating this guy i think she was like in her early 20s she was definitely younger than 25. she was dating this guy and they were fighting i don't know the exact dialogue but i this is the sentiment you're worthless you're never going to be anything you're never going to accomplish your goals all that negativity and she said to him I'm gonna be a star one day. And basically eat your words, because I'm gonna be a star one day. We all know Lady Gaga. She is a massive worldwide star. She has acted in American Horror Stories. She did so good in that. I love, 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 love American Horror Stories. But her season, I'm just like looking at her like, wow, what a magical, majestic being, like ugh, amazing. But this is the energy that she was in. She had somebody in her life that said, you are nothing. Everything that you wanna be, you're a joke. Funny that you think you're ever gonna be something like that. And she said to him, watch your mouth, because I know exactly who I am. I know exactly where I'm going, and I'm going to achieve it, and she did. And she is a pop star, right? So how can we really relate with a pop star? Maybe we can't, but I met this one girl in real life, okay? I was at work, hanging out after my shift, hanging out with my coworkers, and this woman walks in. And immediately I noticed her. I'm like, I look over, I said, wow, she is so gorgeous. Like she's one of those girls that she walks in and everybody's looking at her because she's like Angelina Jolie, gorgeous, all right? She was wearing a cute little outfit. She has an amazing body. You can tell that she like oiled herself up. Her skin was glowing. Her hair was beautiful. Being in the space that I work in, I come across beautiful women all of the time. And sometimes men and people, who are not in their you know healed energy they see a beautiful woman like that and they automatically start hating on her so people were hating on her because she has fake boobs they called her big boobs and like because i would be like is not girl so pretty and they're like oh the one with the big boobs and i was just like yeah like what about it anyway throughout the night i like randomly look over at her because i'm just admiring her beauty but i like stay in my own lane i i stay with my friends i sit there i don't say anything to her because she's living her life and honestly i was a bit intimidated because She's so gorgeous, but she ended up coming up to me and said, hey, do you wanna play this game? It was like a little basketball game. I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I do wanna play this game. Her, her energy, her light was so bright, so bright. Everybody in the whole entire place, all eyes on her. She was literally a star. And so she started talking to me. You know, I asked her where she was from. I asked her her story. And long story short, she is a girl who moved to LA when she was in her early 20s 
and she said that she is now a huge model. She is a model. She has modeled for Playboy, Gucci. She showed me a picture of her face on a billboard in Dubai for Gucci. And I was amazed that I was even speaking to, even in a room with somebody who has achieved these things. Because, you know, where I live, there's people who have money, but it's not people who have achieved like something to this massive level, like an actual high level model, like insane. So as I was talking to her and asking her her story, she said that she moved to LA when she was in her early 20s. And when she first moved there, she was broke, like broke AF. And that she was living in houses with other people and that she was living in sketchy places. And as a young woman, you know, we know this is very scary. This is very dangerous for us. But she was in this place and she said that her family would call her and ask her how everything's going. And she would say, oh, everything is great. I love my life. I'm doing so good. I'm making money. And whenever she was not doing any of that, whenever she was living in scary places and she was dead broke. But she said that she just kept to it and she you know, kept chasing her dreams. And then a couple years later, she has become this, this star. She was a regular Jagular girl, okay, just like us. She went to chase her dreams. And even, even in the crap, she believed in herself. And she has now become something. She has become somebody that people can only dream to become. Dream. And so when I was having this anxiety in my space, I just kept thinking about her and how she's a girl just like me. So whenever you don't believe in yourself, just think about the women, think about the people. You know, this is also a story with Jim Carrey. Whenever he was young, he moved to LA, he was very broke and he just kept envisioning having like a million dollar check written to him for his acting services. And of course, in the moment, in his physical reality, it wasn't happening, but he kept believing that it was gonna happen. And then one day it literally did happen. He received a million dollar check. Think about people like this. Think about these scenarios when you don't believe in yourself because it, what it really takes to become something, if what you wanna become is not the norm for your area, it's gonna take you and your self-belief to get there. Because even if you have people who believe in you, you may not believe in yourself. And then, like I said, it goes back to self-sabotage. If you have something big that you want to achieve, you have to have this crazy, delusional, undeniable belief in yourself. Because when you believe in yourself and you are in the energy of, I am this person, I have the ability to achieve this. I know this is going to happen. I don't know how logically it's gonna happen, but I know it's gonna happen. That is when the energy portal opens up to you. That's when you are aligning with your energy, you are aligning with your purpose, and then with you aligning with this energy, then the universe starts to align you with opportunities that are going to get you there. And you know, that goes more into manifestation and aligning and you know, changing your identity. And it's it's honestly a whole science to it. And this is why manifestation is so big because people have seen massive change in their life just by manifesting something. But it, it really takes your energy. Energy is the most powerful thing that we have. Energy is literally magnet. It's a repellent. It's, it's magical. Okay. Be in your light, be in your energy, really believe in yourself, journal, script, write down. I have talked endlessly in my last couple of videos about writing down what you want. If it's in your head, you need to take it out of your head and put it into physical reality. Write it down. Write down who you want to be. Write down what you want in your life. Because when you write it down, then you are claiming it. You are putting it out there. You are making it real in the physical reality. You are making it real for yourself. And then things can start happening, but it cannot happen until you claim that you truly believe that this is possible for you. If you're still here, I want to get back to the topic of when I was talking about the girl and she was dating this horrible guy and how I said, she's a star, how she didn't see that she was a star. And it made me realize that in many times, in many places, people see me as a star. And I'm not saying this because I'm trying to have a big head. I'm just saying that from what I've seen, I show up as my authentic self and people come up to me and they think that I'm amazing. And sometimes I don't believe that about myself. Sometimes I don't realize how good I am on my own, but that's because I have my own shit that I'm dealing with. I have my own you know, self-esteem issues. I have my own self-worth issues. I have many things that I've had to work through that still to this day hold me back, but I have worked endlessly to get through it. But this is why this girl reminded me of myself because I'm like, you don't realize how beautiful, 
how top level you are, how you literally cannot date any Joe Schmo on the street, that you literally have to up level yourself to the level of celebrity, to royalty, to somebody who is a massive successful, like you are on a, you are 1%. You need to be dating the one one percent of people because you don't fit in with the regular people because the regular people, especially men, will destroy you. They will suck every light that you have out of you because they cannot rise to your level. And people need to be with people who they are on the same level with. It is just fact. It is just energetic fact. So you can't date regular. It made me sad to see her in this space because I was just like, you don't deserve this. You deserve so much more. So that, like I said, it made me reflect on, I deserve more, you know? I deserve more out of my life. It's time for me to stop playing small. It's time for me to play big. It's time for me to be on the level with people that I am meant to be on the level with. And I'm not saying this to hate on anybody because I, I have been living normal. I've been living like everybody for my entire life. I've been in the service industry. I've been a server and a bartender for a long time. And if you are in the industry, you know, I'm just a regular girly. I'm hanging out with the regulars. I go out with my friends. I hang out with just people who are literally just living their lives, okay? And nothing to that. But if I want to achieve my dreams, I literally cannot stay here. And it makes me so sad because I find comfort sometimes in these people. I find community. I find people who, who love me. But then also at the same time, I find people who push me away because I don't belong. <laughs> I don't know what, you know what people think about me in terms of their feelings. I just know that sometimes I have people who love me and oftentimes I have people who just literally don't like me when I really haven't done anything to them, you know? And I'm very good on self-reflection. I try to think, what did I do? What did I do wrong? Like sometimes they just aren't your people because you're just not meant to be there with them. So respect yourself, respect your time, align with the energy that you really want to be a part of because that is, that's just where it's at in general, not even in terms of manifesting your dreams or being your best and having self. Just aligning with the energy of where you were at in general will provide you much more peace, will make you feel more fulfilled, will help you feel just more comfortable. Like, oh yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. These are my people. This is where I feel happiest because we're on the same wavelength. So if you're somebody who's a go-getter, an entrepreneur, you are doing a million things and you hang out with people who are not go-getters and not entrepreneurs, you know, they just go to their job and they go home, watch TV and like they just live their simple life but you're not gonna fit in with these people. There's gonna be a lot of clashing, so you're not gonna be happy. You're gonna feel unappreciated. You're gonna feel small, and they are gonna feel uncomfortable. They're gonna think that you're trying to show up on them. They're gonna think that you think that they're, you're better than them, when that necessarily not might be the case. You know, Maybe you're just not meant to be here. So play big, believe in yourself, go towards your dreams, align yourself with the energy that you truly wanna be a part of, and always believe in yourself. Think of Lady Gaga. Think of Lady Gaga and Jim Carrey, okay? Because even when nobody else believed in them, they believed in themselves. And people thought they were crazy. And who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? Lady Gaga and Jim Carrey, that's who's laughing now, okay? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I'm gonna go to yoga, finish my energy drink. Try this one, sour apple. Don't try this though if you have bad kidneys or you can't handle caffeine, because this is lots of caffeine. Um, but I love you and I will talk to you later. Bye.